morning and welcome to Wake Up With Jay. It's Sunday, March the 14th, and it's a beautiful day. Even if the sun is not shining here in Germany, it's shining in my heart, okay? It's just a blessing to be here with y'all. Let's go ahead and get started with Jay's quote for the day. This one's by Mr. Uh, Neil Donald Walsh, okay? And it says, life begins at the end of your comfort zone. So what is he trying to tell us? He's trying to tell us to jump out of that box, okay? Stop living that daily routine of getting up, going to punch the clock from 9 to 5, coming home, sitting in front of the TV. Folks, you have dreams, all right? Take some time. Take a quiet moment. Write down what it really is that you want in life, okay? And make a decision when you go to sleep that night, when you wake up tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning is going to be the first day of the rest of your life, okay? And whatever it is you want, there's a tool out there in the universe that will help you uh, to achieve it, okay? But it all starts with going inside of you and talking to the maker, okay? We call him God. In many different languages, in many different religions, he's the same man, all right? He is the universe. So, that's my quote for today. Let's see if we can finish it off with Jay's motivational tip. And this one is a unique one. I kind of like this because I think about your mind. They're saying car, so I'm going to go along with it. It says, clean your car. It says, do you know that your car is a symbol for movement and progress in your life? If your car is dirty, cluttered, or in disrepair, take some time to clean it up. Wash up the outside. Clean the inside and remove the trash or items that don't belong there. The mind, right? Okay. Clean the windows to symbolize greater clarity and foresight. And be sure to vacuum the carpets and seats to suck up the stagnant energy, okay? Symbolism aside, the physical activity you extend by cleaning can also help you aside... Hey, guess what? They moved the line on me. How about that? Back up. It can help you feel more invigorated, you know? I don't know about you, but when I'm doing that little wash with the rub, you know, you don't get tired. I can go back to my younger day, okay, this is when I was in my 20s, um, and I go out and, and get uh, a, uh, uh, I think it was Coke 45 back in that day. You know, yeah, everybody young, they, they, you know, I like beer, okay, used to like beer, okay, that was in the younger day. And you go out and you get a pack of beer, right, go get your wash bucket and whatnot, and you want to make that car really shine. You know, folks, two things that can really get you motivated, in my opinion, one is a, is a clean car, to ride around in a clean car. Because what you're doing, you're symbolizing achievement, okay? The other thing is to dress yourself up. You know, I don't do it every day, okay? Because I'm in a work environment where to have on a, 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 a nice uh, uh, knit or band line and a sports jacket suffice, su uh, suffices, okay? But I, can rem I know how I feel when I put that tie around my neck and that dress shirt, okay, and slip on that sports jacket or that three-piece suit, and then you walk out the door. You know, you, 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 you're like, wow, the world is mine. Uh, there's a record out there. Uh, I'm trying to remember who wrote it. Uh, Ain't no stopping me now. I'm on the way. You know, so it's like no one can stop you when you have that nice dress on and you go outside and you step in that car and you're smelling and looking like a winner, okay? People are attracted to you. They want to talk to you. They want to be around you. So that's Jay's for the tip for the day. I wish you and your family a blessed Sunday. Go out and enjoy your family. Have a great day. And by the way, while you're out there, bless someone. God bless you.